it's Ranger Alley and we are filming today. It's Monday, January 22nd. As you can see, there's snow everywhere. And so we wanted to share that with you. I'm sitting at the Panorama parking lot, which is at Thornton Gap. And it's also happens to be where the Mary's Rock Trailhead is. So we're really hoping that we get to see some hikers today who brave the cold to come out here and see this beautiful winter landscape. We really wanted to show you all of the snow, so we filmed this in preparation for our live broadcast that is supposed to happen today, but we really thought that this would be the best way to show you what Shenandoah looks like in the winter before it all goes away. That doesn't mean that it won't come back, but we just didn't want to miss out on this opportunity. So let's go see if we can find some hikers. Let's see what this ranger's doing at the entrance station friendliest face you can see when you pull up to a national park. Good afternoon. How are you? Good, how are you? Good. I'm Alyssa and this is Neil and we work in the media office. Do you mind if I ask you a couple questions about winter in Shenandoah? Yeah, of course. <laughs> I've only been here about six weeks. so. Perfect. Fresh eyes. <laughs> <laughs> what do you think of it so far? Uh, snowy. Well, I just love hiking in Shenandoah National Park in the winter when the drive is closed because you can actually walk on the drive. So I walked on the drive, it's about three quarters of a mile to the tunnel, and it just has these huge icicles coming down from the top. So it's just a very surreal experience. It almost looks like jaws of a, a monster <laughs> yeah. or something. It was fun. This is my first hike in this deep of snow. We've done Mary's when it's been snowy and icy before, um, and that was really fun. But this one was, it was a lot more powder. It was a little deeper. Yeah. Um, I took two spills and I'm fine. Um, <laughs> just gonna out myself, it's fine. Um, <laughs> happens to the best of us. Right. Yeah. Right. <laughs> How do you like being up here when no one else is here? Like you guys are kind of the first to see it. That's gotta be cool. Yeah, yeah it's, it's kind of cool, yeah. So like everything's undisturbed. Yeah. And it looks like you guys are really well prepared. Yes. <laughs> You've got your hiking gloves <laughs> ready. <laughs> so you want to have, you know, something to keep you warm, extra snacks, extra Advil. I, but any time of the year when I hike, I always have a first aid kit. I have something called the Essential Ten. Yeah. Items, they call We're it. But big on that. <laughs> yeah. Big. Big is a, a first aid kit, and then if I'm walking on Skyline and it's icy. I brought my micro spikes. Yes. I didn't need them today because it had actually melted on there, but if, if there's ice, I'll wear the micro spikes. Don't, don't want to risk your safety. Our videographer Neil and I switched roles because this is his favorite season. So I have to know, what do you love about Shenandoah in the winter? Allie, there's several things I really like about winter. One, with the lack of leaves, with our deciduous forest, you can see into the park. It's an entirely different experience than summers. And that gives you opportunities to see wildlife and birds and things that you don't normally see because they they can't hide in the leaves. And I love that about it. I also love the lack of humidity and heat. I'm, I have Nordic blood in me. I am a cold weather person and I like the cold weather. The colder, the better. I know you don't like that. <laughs> oh, I do. I come up here often year round, but it's especially in the winter. Yes, I love Shenandoah National Park. All, all of it. I've hiked all 514 miles of trails. That's yeah. awesome. Yeah. What's your favorite part about Shenandoah in winter? I just love getting out and the views are so much better. I mean, because oh, yeah. the leaves aren't there, so you can see out into the, to the mountains and yeah. the views and everything. So Yeah, it's absolutely. Great. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I feel like it's just, it's nice to see the park in different all, all the different yes. seasons, I all feel the seasons like. are amazing. <laughs> yes, this is one of our favorite. I know it's Neil's favorite. Yeah. <laughs> I'm a summer gal, but he loves the winter. He says bring it on. Colder the better. Yeah. <laughs> Any wildlife sightings? Oh yeah, earlier, like literally just us coming down uh, here, um, we ran to like, what was it, like 50 turkeys yeah, on the road? Yeah. No it way. Was a ton. That's the most I've ever seen in one spot. And it's really cool to see all the uh, paw prints and everything of all the animals that are Yeah, yeah but there. no animal sightings other um, than the just some deer. deer. Yeah, some deer. Yeah. 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 I mean, this one you can kind of see a little bit. Oh, of you the know bottom. what? That might have been. But it's huge. Might be a little unusual for them to come out when it's this cold, yeah, but I, think I mean. It. Yeah, it's anyway. possible. Let's call it a bear. Yeah, because that's yeah. so cool. <laughs> let's call it a bear. Yeah, let's say bear. bear. Oh my gosh. Let's just say it was a bear. Excellent. <laughs> the story. Right. Yep, yep. Excellent. Cool. And the winter is a, just another experience with the snow and the stillness and the beauty of winter. 
and there's an enormous amount of quiet up here that you don't get in the summer. There's less people, of course, less traffic, and the quiet is just something to behold. He just doesn't like humidity. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Neil. You're welcome. Thank you all so much for joining us today. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments. Or if you just want to give us a shout out, we'll say hi back. We're going to see you again in March. And we're going to talk about some special events that are happening for the year in the park, as well as some openings that are going to happen at the beginning of spring. We hope you all enjoy the rest of the winter season in Shenandoah. And we'll see you all again soon.